Hi, how are you? Good, and you, Carlos? Thank you so much for your time. Thank you, I appreciate your time. Yes, of course, in a very intense movie. <laughs> I was like, oh my God. Are you still God. tense from it? <laughs> yes, but, but it was good, but it was good. Thank you. Uh, Thank you. I want to I, I wanna start like asking you, uh, what was like the inspiration for this script? The inspiration for Locked In came from like everyone else nowadays. I had a, or I still have a self-storage locker. And upon entering the self-storage locker, I kind of just thought, looked around, it looks like a labyrinth, it looks like a maze. I thought this would be a great place to set a film. And from there, I just started working what the characters are, what they would be doing, and kind of came up from the story from there. Yeah, I, I don't have a self a uh, self storage. <laughs> so, oh, you don't? You don't believe I don't. That? I don't. <laughs> well, now you definitely won't after the movie. <laughs> yes, I was like, I don't have it. So yeah. I know, I know it's like, it's, it's part of the American life to have a, a, a self-storage, but we don't have it. I don't know. Right. For some right. reason, we, I don't know. That's you not. You have enough space. I, actually, I don't, but we try to, to keep it in minimum here, but we, <laughs> it's, it, we just fine. And, and like, Picking the, the right uh, actors, like, did you have like Mena on mind before, Bruno? And because the cast is really good, you know, Costas, Al Jeff, and everybody. But do you have that in mind when you like writing the script or everything was like came on, or they came on board afterwards? You know, Mina really was kind of the prototypical Maggie. Maggie's the main character of Locked In. She came in really understood the character and i definitely didn't write it with any one actress in mind but the minute that she showed interest everything clicked you know as the writer it's your job to then take it to the director being the same person and help visualize if this is the right person for the for the for the character uh with the rest of them it was a process of casting and honestly, between myself, the casting director and the producers, I think everyone did a great job of bringing the right people that would play the right parts. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm a huge fan of Bruno Bircher. And I think he has so, I don't know, for some reason he's very, he does comedy. He also can be serious. He can be the good yes. guy. He can be the bad guy. That's why, that's why. He's it, so it good at me. that. Yeah. Yeah. That's why I call my attention, especially on him. And and Mina, she's she's amazing. And I think she, as you said, she's the perfect Maggie. And also, I want to congratulate you. This is your director debut on a feature film. Like you did short movies, you did documentary. Uh, like, why did you decide moving from documentary to a feature film? Well, you know, I had also done a lot of television commercials as well. And I will tell you, my love, my passion is directing actors. And except maybe in some short films where you can get a performance and work on it, you can only really do that in feature films. And that's really what drove me to make this movie as, as good as we can make it, was the ability to have the fortune of working with these amazing actors on my first film, but then when they were given to me, making sure I didn't crash the car, you know, that I'm given, given this beautiful cast and I had to make sure that they all worked in chorus together. Yeah, what well, was like the, the challenge part? Because you might have, you also produced, you wrote the script, but you also produced and then you directed, but what, what was the most challenge part to put this film together? The most challenging was finding the right location really uh, finding the right partner of a location that was an actual working self storage that we could actually film in comfortably, but yet have that claustrophobia that we wanted in the film. And that was a big part of it because I wanted the realism of a real self storage. We discussed about actually building out a set but when we saw the real ones, it just, it gives so much personality. These places all have their own personality. Some are very dark and scary. Some are very cold and industrial. Um, and so we just kept looking for the right one. And that that took probably more time than, uh, than you know, I imagined it would. Yeah, and I can only imagine you like 
filming on those because I think the 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 everything's so tiny. I don't know, look not tiny, but like claustrophobic, yeah. <laughs> like the way yeah. that it is. Yeah. And I the the camera movement, I think that was I don't know. I in my opinion, watching the movie I think must be a challenge as well. Which is yeah. I don't know. <laughs> well, it's a challenge because I'll I'll tell you some of the times I wasn't even there to film the actual empty hallways myself. So I was relying on my crew and I had a brilliant crew uh, near Philadelphia in a town called Lancaster. And uh, we really had to count on the crew to be able to do things because when you're shooting on a tight schedule and you know we know the days that the actors have, everybody has to be on their A game in terms of the crew as well as the cast. Yeah, how many days did you, did you how many days was it? Was the... about 19 days. Wow, it's very, super quick, like right, right there. Super quick. Yeah, and that was that was before the pandemic. It was during the pandemic. That was, <laughs> it was right before the pandemic. We wrapped December twenty fourth of twenty nineteen, wow. and up until we started filming in early December, we potentially were going to move it to February of twenty twenty, and we fortunately oh. did not because that just teaches you about life. Don't procrastinate because you never know what's around the corner, like a pandemic. Yeah, <laughs> you know? yeah. I know, I know. And, My mom all- it was, it was, yeah. We had to do a lot of the post-production during the pandemic. So that was a challenge too. Yeah, but I think it's different when you have all the materials. I think it's like editing, doing the post-production. You don't have the whole, the whole crew like on, on set, like the paint, um, I think that's easier. And my mom always used to say to me, don't leave for tomorrow what you can do today. So that's, right. that's, right. that's, that's really, really, really cool. And and now like with the pandemic and I bet you will be more difficult for you. I think everything will be changing the way that we, we, we you guys, everybody's filming is doing like TV, even commercials now. And I don't know if you're already back on set, but if you can tell me uh, uh, this, your opinion on this. Yes, I've fortunately been able to film a number of television commercials. I did a short documentary for a brand. Um, but in general, we have two films right now that I'm attached as director uh, that we plan on doing hopefully within the next 12 months. And uh, yes, that's just the new reality, as they keep saying it. We have to be aware of, co of, co of COVID. We have to be aware of the circumstances that could get people sick, and we have to be super safe and make sure that the actors are safe, make sure our crew is safe. And it just does slow down production. That's the reality. I don't think we could have filmed Locked In at the speed at which we shot it, given the circumstances now. Um, and that's just something people are going to have to realize moving forward. Yeah, in other, in all the levels. I think it's very, like, very important. I don't know, it's it's a different word right now. Look at yeah, me the more, interviewing the more, you through Zoom. <laughs> yeah, no, and directing, I've had to direct through Zoom uh, three or four commercials already. And uh, it's not easy. Directing on Zoom is, is a challenge because you lose the humanity of talking to someone face to face and being able to express yourself as clearly as you need to. And it does slow the process down. There is just not, an, there's no perfect uh, mechanism that is digital that can compute with or compete with being in, in the same room with someone and telling them, you know, how you feel about the way their performance is going or what they might be doing if they're a crew person. And also like the movie is going to, to video demand and, and, and movies like uh, releasing in theaters. How do you feel about that? Because usually we do a film when you, when you film this, it was supposed to go to theaters, correct? So it's straight to theaters and then you have the other like DVD, yeah. uh, VOD, DVD. How do you feel about it? Like the change? Well, in, I should just clarify, Locked In is going to theaters and VOD the same day, so it's day and date. And yes, uh, look, I love cinema. I grew up going to cinemas and living in that, you know, beautiful dark room and being transported. But it is the new reality. 
it is where the market and the general circumstance of the world is telling us we have to be in. And for the safety of people, I'm all for it. Because if your film is watched ultimately on a television or an iPad versus the cinema, it's still gonna be the same product. You just don't have that interaction with the audience. But you know, there is something to be said for the fact that the streamers and the VODs have been able to shift and actually accommodate this incredible uh, pandemic that has, you know, hit the whole world. And we haven't lost a beat, you know, in that sense. It's like we still are watching movies, we're still watching TV shows, and that's a great thing. Yeah, that's why I keep do, like every week I keep having like new stuff to talk about it. And thanks to them and thanks to to directors and producers like you that never stop thinking about us. And yeah. and I think yeah, and then I think that part uh, help uh, helps uh, help a lot of people to go through this pandemic. I know we have a lot of people suffering, dying, but I think on the other hand, we have we need to entertain everybody, and I think you guys are doing that. Like everybody whole... needs a break, even if it's just ninety minutes. You know, just to forget about your life for ninety minutes and and watch something that transports you. You know. Exactly. So, Carlos, and and uh, uh, I want to ask you. You mentioned that you're working in uh, two new projects right now. Can you talk a little bit about it? Yes, or I it's can. a secret. <laughs> I, you know, I'm not as secretive as Chris Nolan. Uh, you know, one is Stay Safe. It's a uh, horror thriller. Um, I can't tell you too much about the plot, but it is uh, an interesting has romance, it has horror, has thriller. So I think it's a lot for everybody in there. And we will hopefully be shooting that one first uh, this year. And then the second one is a, is a film called Open House that I wrote and will be directing. And uh, it's a thriller set in the real estate market. That's yeah. great. You know, Carlos, I just want to thank you so much for your time. It's a pleasure to talk to you. And I have a curiosity, where are you from? You're from here, the US? Yes, I was born in the U.S. to Cuban immigrants. Ah, okay. Carlos Gutierrez. Yes. Muchas gracias. Ah, de donde tu eres? De Brasil. De Brasil. Yo, sí. yo falo un poco, un poco portugués. Un poquinho, un poquinho. Sí, sí. Pero yo viví en Miami por ah, okay. 16 años. Ah, okay. Yes. Y ahí mi hijo aprendió cubano primero. <laughs> Yes, well, it's okay. We're all we're all in it together now. Todos los latinos, brasileño, cubano, puertorriqueño, mexicano. Exactly. One big, we're one big network now. You know, it's great. I know, I know. That's awesome. I just want to thank you so much for your time and Carlos. A lot of success, and I and I cannot wait for everybody to watch Locked In in theaters and on demand. Thank you, Jane. Thank you. Oh, that's awesome. Thank you. Muchas gracias. Obrigado. De nada. Ciao. If you like this video, don't forget to comment, to like, and subscribe to our channel right here.